Well, and, uh, good evening, gentlemen and scholars, and gentle ladies as well. It's Professor Jeremy with his tryhard pants on. You know what? This colorless card stuff is, is a lot of RNG, and I'm, I'm just still very curious. Now, I don't know if I want to get a curse for two, or just one with no curse. I feel like, hey, Lagargi. Oh. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome, buddy. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it a lot, man. <clears throat> a curse for two. Th to be honest, one of them could be a curse in their own right. So it's like a a two curses for potentially one. That's how I feel about the RNG of it all. Let's go for it, though. Jack of all trades and finesse for Parasite. Interesting. So I'm thinking about maybe going this path and go to late elite. I don't really want to go for this early elite. Depends on what cards we get. I maybe I should have done bash there. So now we have finesse and a um Now finesse is very nice because that gives you that little extra bit of block to hit the threshold that you need to hit because typically you'll block for what, five and you wanna hit Defend for uh, defend for seven, so that helps you get that. We got what's that called? Good instincts and finesse. Okay, cool. And as you can see, like I'm hitting nice numbers, full block with, with not needing full energy for that. Like even in this situation, I could afford to do um a strike, but maybe you know. Let's let's since we do have these defensive uh, colorless cards, we could try to take advantage. Well, okay. In this case, I just took all the damage that I was trying to save. But we're still relatively healthy. We got True Grit, Fire Breathing, Flex. Now, Flex is interesting because we have, uh, you know, zero cost card draw and finesse. Not that that helps. I mean, it helps a little bit because you can offset the Flex and get blocked for it if you get them in the same hands. But if you don't, then it's like it's still Flex. It's kind of awkward in your hands. I like True Grit, especially since we have a curse. I don't like this hand, because this is really bad. We're, we are lacking damage. We're lacking lots of damage. Now, I guess I can keep in mind that Jack of all trades could give me Panacea, which would make Flex a scaling card, or at least some uh, strength increase. So that's something I should keep in mind when I'm thinking about Flex or things like that. That Jack of all trades could be Panacea, even however random it might be. I think we need more damage. I'm actually going to go for Hemokinesis. Now, this is going to hurt... Uh, so the gold here is pretty nice because we're about to hit a shop. I'm gonna go for it. We get Blood for Blood, Mind Blast, Burning Pack, Brutality, or Card Removal. Uh, who's the boss, real quick? I like Blood for Blood, and it works well with Hemokinesis. I still think Hemokinesis is a little awkward, but I think I'm gonna go for Blood for Blood, Remove the Curse. Uh, is there, unless there's another shop. I think I'm gonna do that. Blood for Blood, Remove. That's fine. Things going to be fine. Panacea. Oh, very nice. Doesn't come back looking like Dr. Disrespect or something? <laughs> Dr. Disrespect. Sunglasses. Flame Bear, upper. so Uppercut's fantastic. So I feel like I'm leaning towards Uppercut because the Weaken is so good against the Guardian, right? And Uppercut's just a fantastic card. I love Flame Bear, but yeah, we're doing Uppercut. And now I'm going to go for the Elite because we have Uppercut, Blood for Blood, and Hemokinesis. These are all very strong, in-your-face, Smack Daddy cards. So I feel pretty good about this. Got Mayhem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's Manuel when you need him? Manuel, we got Manuel. So mayhem is interesting. I have nothing that I'm really afraid of playing prematurely. So I think there's only upside in this in this case. Someone put exclamation point Manuel. 
So we need that. Uh, Reptimenter is now an elite. Yeah, I know. So Reptimenter was a very strong normal fight and it caught, caught you off guard and just kind of wrecked you. So it makes sense that it's an elite. And they, they buffed it to boot so that it would feel more like an elite. Uh, we are getting kind of low on life. So there's a chance in which I actually die here. There's a chance in which I die if I don't get the block. Let's hope that RNG is in our favor. Alright, we're good. Um, a little too low. I'm not, I'm not liking how low I, I've gotten in this fight. You know what makes it worse is hemokinesis, but my god, we just got a dead branch. It's so funny that whenever I'm down on my luck in these runs, dead branch comes to try to give me a free win. I don't want to accept the free win. No, I refuse. I'm actually going to take the heal here, which I don't normally do, and I'm going to go for another elite. My calipers as well. This is crazy. This is going, it's going, hey creator, congrats man. Keep at it. Impervious with calipers already is kind of nice. Transmutation, that's kind of interesting. We got discovery, okay, we got blind. Discovery for carnage. Reckless charge, what is this? Let's do the thorns for this fight. See what this gives me. Battle trance. Uh, eh. uh, I really don't want this to hit blood for blood. But you know what? We'll be fine. I should have played the defend first. <laughs> Very interesting fight so far. The evolves are kind of awkward. That's not nice. But for the most part, we're doing just fine in this fight. That's lethal. Should we try to avoid doing that? And maybe... Like, let's see if we can get damage without having to use that. Like so. Okay. Anchor, whoa, we got Calipers, Anchor, and Dead Branch. Very good. Havoc is fantastic with Dead Branch. We can upgrade Remove. Let's upgrade the True Grit. Let's upgrade the Havoc. And right off the gate, we have a very stellar run. And these are usually Resident Sleeper in some kind of capacity just because... I mean, Impervious makes things so easy. I mean, sorry, Dead Branch makes everything so easy. But they're, it's fun nonetheless. So let's have some fun with it. The run is stabilizing in a way that's very uh, satisfying to me. Very satisfying. Perfected Strike, Dropkick, Thunderclap. I think Dropkick's not bad because we do have Uppercut um, and Bash. It gives me more damage. Is that, do we need more damage? It could be kind of interesting with... I don't think so. I think we're fine. There's a Bash. There's Entrench. Entrench with calipers. Huh. <laughs> How are you guys doing today, by the way? I'm trying not to use hemokinesis. That's the thing, I don't actually like Hemokinesis, because I just feel like it's very self-damaging. It's, like, it's nice in a pinch, but I'd rather not hit myself for that much. If it's not necessary. So you don't really want to rely on it for fights. Second Wind with Body Slam. Uh, I think Second Wind with Dead Branch is kind of interesting. 
it could lead to some not only getting blocked, but also just giving me a lot of cards. I think Second Wind's probably better with Dead Branch in mind. And Calipers, so I can just do like a massive Second Wind, get rid of all my defense, and get blocked for it into Calipers, and then get random cards. But those random cards may not be something I want. I don't know, I think we just take it and go for the archetype. Now, I'm going to keep these potions. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Blood for Blood or the Second Wind. I think we upgrade Blood for Blood. It's going to be our, our way to do most, most of our damage. Deep Breath. Like, I like the new animations, animations too, uh, Shuff Daddy. They're kind of nice. Clash. Hello. Let's get rid of that Clash. That's just fodder for True Grip. That is a Fire Breathing. That was a Strike I got rid of. Alright, so we're taking a little bit of damage. Maybe too much damage. We gotta be careful here. That's Exhume. If I get this arm, that would be fantastic. Second wind. Uh, what if we do exhum on Jack of All Trades? We got another blood for blood. That's cool. Our deck's getting fat in a way that's not good because we have fire breathing and all this other shenanigans we don't really like. Let's get it out of the deck. Warwind has a nice new animation. Mission up with some hatchet capture chain. All right, Joel. Yeah, man. I'm gonna be start. I'm uploading daily again on uh, on YouTube. I know I took a little hiatus. Let's get rid of the thunderclap. Oh. Larson with the tier one six months in a welcome back, man. Thank you for the support. Uh, this is awkward. This is really awkward. Double Hebrew kinesis is not what you want to see. I'm I'm probably gonna lose this battle. I wonder if we just go for the bash, blood for blood. If I do that, we take 8 damage, right? Then we're going to be down to, um... Uh, 16. And we're, we're just going to straight up die. That's not good. That's not good. I guess we kind of need disarm to save us a little bit, huh? Is that what I need right now? To save me. This is very Monka S right now. This is extremely Monka S. So what happens when you get kind of like carried away and just like do havoc and all that crap. I think we do headbutt on our defense. That's a barricade. I mean, it is kind of useful to maybe think about. Right, the charger for the damage because we're getting kind of close to lethal. But uh, maybe instead of headbutting that and doing havoc, I could have done. Well, this seems fine. Well, hemokinesis into. Well, this is fine. We live. That's what's important. Not even close. Okay, now let's make this run broken. So we got Barricade with Calipers and Anchor. It's a little awkward, but it actually turns out to be kind of nice because the Calipers helps you get some black potentially before the Barricade comes, in, comes into play. And then at that point, Calipers is no longer a thing. So it's just relevant for maybe a couple turns. Maybe not relevant at all for certain things. Maybe I'll just use Calipers instead of Barricade if Barricade is too expensive. Um, there's that or there's Immolate, which is just probably better considering it's, it's a big smack AoE damage in their face for act two which is very very nice and barricade is kind of expensive and i may not get an energy relic juggernaut is kind of interesting as well yeah because we're going to be doing dead branch shenanigans stuff with like second wind and juggernaut can just do a lot of damage i think it's either emulate or barricade the funeral pain juggernaut dream i mean that would be sick if i get funeral pain start doing dead branch Exhausting shenanigans with Juggernaut. I mean, it'll be insane, but I think right now with our deck 
as it is, barricade or emulate fit the best. Um, I don't mind barricade. I think emulate might be better, but I'm gonna go for this. All right, we'll take the energy. Let's whirl. Go for a whirl. You lost the awakening when I hate him. It's a creator. Uh, so when you saw the awakening, one, were you being mindful of the amount of powers you had? And when you played the fight, did you try to avoid playing the powers that you took? Because if most of the time, if you just avoid playing powers and try to consistently block without using powers, you can kind of since he doesn't really scale. He doesn't scale unless you play powers. So if you, you use oh, that's corruption and juggernaut. Hello. So yeah, if you just maybe avoid using powers, you can probably snag a win. Let's take the impervious or fiend fire. Let's do fiend fire again. The runs are getting nutty. Ever thought of this thing you have only one grand finale? Yeah, but the thing is, it seems so unlikely for that to to happen. That would be sick, but it. Probably impossible to make happen. I'm gonna do it because I don't wanna. I don't wanna risk it. Funeral pain. Wow. Okay, it's starting. It's happening. You know, apparition is not bad because it gives me dead branch. It gives me just buys me time for barricade. It wasn't a bad choice. This arm's fantastic. He mostly died in the second phase. Yeah, that's something you also got to keep in mind about. Sever soul. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Sever soul. Yes, baby. Disarm, true grip. All right, deck is officially becoming broken. What are the new enemies? So they added the spaghetti monster, which is a guy who um, he changes his intention. Ooh, body slam. He changes his intention as you hit him, and then I don't know. Oh, wow, we got Havoc Plus versus Final Pain. This is a tough choice, guys. This is a tough choice. Final Pain is pretty sick, and Havoc Plus is very sick. Damn, damn, damn. So, Havoc. Final Pain is worse against the Awakened One, but we have Barricade. This gives me a lot of extra block. I'll take that. Smooth Stone. Whoa, that's corruption. Alright. Pack it in. Phone it home. It's a GG. Now, I think we can remove a strike so we can get into our corruption more. To get into it quick, uh, quicker, right? Or we can just buy a Havoc and Trugger and get things rolling. We'll always, we'll keep adding, we'll keep adding skills as we go along. So we'll just do this and take a true grit. Just do that. Eh. Yeah. Alright. Let's make this a speed run. I mean, there's still a chance in which we lose, right? There's still the off chance. Right, right? There's like some kind of challenge and difficulty and, you know, adversity to, to be had. Right? No? <laughs> Shit, maybe not. Maybe not. All right. So much for adversity. So much adversity, Jeremy. Look at the adversity. Wow, it's really... Oh, yeah, you're struggling. Yeah, it's rough. It's hard out here, man. Jeez. Adversity. Was that a body slam? Yeah, it's really adverse. Yeah, I'm taking every risk in the book. Yep. That's how we make it spicy. Shrug it off in funeral pain again. It's a third funeral pain. I mean, that's just so nice. But shrug it off plus. It's kind of nice, too. Shit. Should we go for like every funeral pain in existence? Yes, we should. I know that's a true grip. That's a shrug it off plus, but whatever. Let's go. Let's upgrade these bad boys. Oh, hello. 
Anchor is so good. Demon form, hello. It's not that I need a card draw, it's just 11 block. Mayhem. Okay, I think we do second wind here. <laughs> uh, flame barrier, okay. That's a lot of block. Looking really good, I guess. Like, not, not that I, I guess. I mean, your name's I guess. The deck is looking very nice. It's almost too nice. Let's bring back the uh, Trigger Plus. Mm hmm. That's what I was saying earlier. I was like, whenever I somehow end up getting completely gobsmacked, the, the run gives me Dead Branch to make me feel a little bit better. But then I'm like, oh, but no, I, I, no. What if I get Havoc right here? Let's do this. Second wind. We're just talking out when you need it. What's up, Sakai? How you doing, buddy? I don't have body slam. Body slam comes to me through Dead Branch, if it if it's feeling generous. It's not always feeling generous. Sometimes it is. There it is. Oh, hey. For that one, I want you to check if you have Twitch Prime, because you deserve to sub to your creator. For not only predicting the body slam. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh... For, for willing body slam into my life. I appreciate that. That was very kind of you. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, shit. Yo, Paradox. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Sky the Pick, thank you for the Twitch Prime as well. Appreciate it. Oh, shit. Welcome, guys. Sentinel. Oh my god, this turn is getting spicier and spicier. Whoa, what is up with the rages? Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. This is not supposed to be a first turn kill kind of thing. Wait, this is... Wait, no, this is not happening. You're not gonna just give me a body slam out of nowhere, right? Let's see what happens here. Wait, wait, you're not gonna just give me... <laughs> oh my god! Scene red. Holy shit. Sun dodge probably never getting procced. I'm gonna remove, because, you know, I don't really care about the strikes or the upgrades. We're going for the elegance. We're gonna go for another elite. Oh, what's up, buddy? This guy could actually be pretty uh, bad. In, like, the bad kind of way. Like, it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad until it's not bad, right? We're gonna have a couple badness until it's no longer bad. Like, right now, boom. No longer bad. It was bad for a moment, no longer. I still could be kind of bad. Well, we got Final Pain and, like, True Grit and stuff. And Sentinel. Alright. So, like, it's no longer bad. Just for, like, a moment, that's all. For a moment it was bad, and now it is completely rectified into a completely easy lead fight. There we go. Warcry Plus is fantastic. I have not ever said no to that, bad boy. 
You watch uh, Probs IRL before? So let's do uh, scene red into barricade, into finesse, into this, into that. Cool. Phenol paint is so good in this fight as it is. Team, I'll take demon form. Why not? He's more entrenched. Yeah, tell me about it. I agree. What's up, I love hentai too? We have 12 strength on this turn. We have 12 strength on this turn. Wait a second, 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 wait a second. Oh my goodness. It's too much. <laughs> oh, hello, Pino Pain. It's nice to see you. You came mighty early. Before Time Lord? Nah, Time Lord can't fuck this up. So, we've been through the Time Lord, Time Eater, you know. He can't fuck this up. The reason why is because all I gotta do is get Barricade out. Time Lord can't... There's too much. He can't fuck it up. There's too much for him. He tries, but he can't succeed. I meant to play Corruption, but... It's not gonna matter. It does matter. Damn, feels bad. Feels bad. If I if I had played corruption, this was GG already. It's okay. Oh man, look at me! I didn't kill him on that turn. What was I? Finding a reason to complain. I think inflame is unnecessary. Twin strikes unnecessary. Like these are all unnecessary. Like it would be nice to have inflame, but eh, not necessary. Just clogs up. From us finding this card on the first turn, you see? Imagine if that was in flame instead. We would be very unhappy. So, uh, we made the right choice. We made the right choice. So, Calipers helps in this situation where, like, normally I would be like, Damn, I'm playing all this block, but it's not really doing anything for me. I wish I had my, my, what's it called? My barricade. Well, in this situation, we've got the, um... Calipers to kind of hold hold on to some block before that happens. Now, Sever Soul is really good with our deck because we give it gives us a lot of exhaust for Fetal Pain and it gives a lot of Dead Branch fuel. And this can start becoming an engine with wounds if I can generate wounds with Power Through or what have you. So that's fine. And we're gonna up. So we need card draw. People, some somebody said I don't need card draw. On the contrary, I actually do need card draw because I want to um, find my. Corruption and barricade as soon as I can. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. What's up? Hello. Top of the morning to you. What's up, Festive Bestive? Mayhem. Oh, that's an entrench. That's an entrench. That's a juggernaut. Oh my god. This is gonna be nutty. You got the combo wombo. The mayhem. The juggernaut. The double juggernaut. Oh god. Let's do this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy with block and block only. Get ready. Let's put this on top and Havoc that. Free Demon form. Whew! Whew! 
The speed. The pace. Look at the pace, Mom. Look at the pace. It's this type of deck. I know. It's, I always have fun with this type of deck. I know it's like super like free win, but I can't not have fun with it. You thought you were gonna get a chance to like, you know, do your execute. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I have a get out of here. Ooh, there's a juggernaut. So we could go for the juggernaut and be like. We could go for the Juggernaut. It's worse against the um, Awaken one. You know, honestly, Impervious is the play. I'm not even going to entertain the idea. If Juggernaut wants to come through the power of Dead Branch, so be it. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to force it. Now, I think Busted Crown is the play. We just get more energy, do more things, right? And more cards I can play because I have Dead Branch. I'm always getting cards. It gives me energy. That's fine. Rune Pyramid could be interesting because I can hold on to... No, Rune Pyramid is not what you want. Dead Branch, definitely don't want that. Boom, Busted Crown is the play. Just more energy. Less problems. <clears throat> we got the Dono Deca, which is really easy because we have Funeral Pain, which already destroys that fight. But now on top of it, we have um, one second. I'm going for as many elites as possible here. We have four elites. Let's go for it. It might be risky to go for four elites, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. Oh, that's corruption. Have I adjusted my mic? What do you mean? Like, is the mic sound low, bad, too high? What's going on with it? Let me know. I feel like the bass is boosted. Let me see. The bass is boosted. The bass is boosted. Echoey room? Alright, what if... Oh. Oh. Oh my, I'm so sorry. Guys, my girlfriend had raised the game. I am so sorry. Now the mic should feel better. Because the game was shouldn't have been up. How is it now? Sabes español? Ah, un un poquito sí. Yo 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 sé un poco un poco español. Mi papá es cubano y yo nací or nací en Miami. Perro. Pero no hablo bien. Entiendo más que hablo y mi acento es muy gringo y, you know, embarrassando. No, not pregnant, because I'm not pregnant, but embarrassing. I don't know the word for it, whatever. Pero, uh, hola, bienvenido. Y, ¿cómo estás? <coughs> Well, apenado sounds a little dirty, but yeah, okay, apenado. Thank you. Appreciate it. Como andas? See, I don't know what andas means. What does andas mean? How am I walking? Is it how am I doing? Uh, bien. <laughs> what was I going to say? So the uh, the mic is better now, right? Because the gain was high. It shouldn't have been high. And I wish I knew that because that affects the video. Anyways, it's not a video. We got Panache. Let's go. We got Panache. Come on, it's like, how are you? Yeah, yeah. I, I looked it up. So, Andas is like, it seems like a slang. So, I looked it up, and Andas means like walk. So, I guess it's like a slang for, uh, like, how are you doing kind of thing. The volume is a little low. It should be better now, though. I know it was super high before, but it's, it should be good now. I know it's a little. Oh, we got another Funeral Pain. Whoa, that's also a damn mummified hand. I'm sorry, I got to take mummified hands. Like, Funeral Pain number four is nice, but Mummified Hand is... You can't say no to that. Huh. 
I use the Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro. Yeah, I can fix it. No worries. I'm not worried about the video. It's fine. Yeah, embarrassed. I means pregnant. I know. I was like trying to use my broken English, but I know that embarrassed or whatever is pregnant. So apenado is embarrassed, which is interesting. I didn't know that. Apenado. I always feel ah. welcome and appreciated in your streams. I think you're stuck with me now. Oh, no, no, I think you're stuck with me. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Welcome, thank you back. I said welcome, thank you back. I meant to say welcome back. Thank you for the two months in a row, Chrissy. And I always appreciate the uh, the input and your desire for me to get wins, even though I don't get wins. Um, you keep me motivated. <clears throat> Apenado. Apenado. It's more like sad. Oh, interesting. I don't want to use the damn hemokinesis, but I'm going to heal it up anyways. I should just... Ooh, hello. Whoa, I just realized we got question card of Busted Crown. <laughs> I'm going to skip. Arre. Ar, arre? Wait, so wh why arre? What does arre have to do with it? Cigarro. Yo puedo ro rolando mi ar mi arres, mi erres, mi orros, mi arros. Cigarro, sigue. R con R con R con gar con ferrocarril. Un macarrone con farro. Uh, there's like a funny little thing. It's like R con R something something ferrocarril. En el carro la la la. I don't know what they say. But I remember somebody teaching me that. R con R con R. I don't know what the hell they say. Something, something. De farro carril. R con R cigarro. Rap, rapiro rudan los carros en los riles de ferro carril. Okay, there you go. What happened now? It's, it's, it's on, it's on different versions. R con R guitarra. R con R carril. Que rápido ruden las ruedas car cargadas de azúcar de ferrocarril. Oh, wow. Jesus. Incredible. Yeah, this deck, the, so the, the synergy with this deck is basically, hey, I have cards I can play for free. I'm going to keep playing these free cards, get blocked, and then smack you up. Oh, so Body Slam, you're a little late, buddy. You know what we're going to do? Check it out. We're looking for... Well, I was looking for... What's it called? The, the thinking ahead to put body slam on top. That didn't work out. Let's see if maybe we can get... Um... Is there a way that we can... Um... I, I want a way that I can put <clears throat> body slam on top here. Damn. The E is different in Spanish. I don't know how to give an example. It's A, E, I, A, E, I. So it's E, right? So E, 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 E. Whereas, like, in English, it's A, E, I, O, U. So I'll be like E, it would be uh, E, E. How would you say? So A, E, excitement. But it is Spanish would be A, E. Eh, no, ah, e. Ah, no, no, Jesus. Damn, now I just confused myself. Holy crap.
ru so a e re reda redan okay I, dude all right so i know some of you guys are like what the hell is this guy doing he's not playing this part he's trying to speak spanish he's butchering the spanish language i'll stop i apologize <coughs> No, it's like a distracted. This is how the run gets destroyed. <coughs> so th that's hard to say though. So I e re da re da. That's so hard for me as a English speaker. That's actually really hard for me. Re da. Wait, we got the elite version. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, we got the elite version. Hello. All right, guys, focus up. Now, now this uh, Reptomancer, formerly known as Repto Cancer, uh, is now an elite. But what better day to find this elite than a day in which I had? Wait a second, I'm actually gonna bleed some real blood now because this damage is insane. What better day to find it than to have my Dead Branch deck? But, um, I mean, imagine I didn't have Dead Branch there. Look how much damage I would be taking. Absolutely insane. So she no longer heals. She used to have an attack that would heal. Oh, hello. We win. She used to have an attack that would heal her. But now it's replaced with a damage attack. I'm kind of curious to see the damage attack. I think I just saw it. It was actually a big 34. Because normally she does like a double attack, right? Like a, like that, 16 times 2. But before or earlier, she just did like a 34. But we just got Jack of all trades, Fiend Fire. We just got the turn for all turns. Buckle up, guys. Because we are about to do some crazy, crazy things. I think I just won. Alright. It's not that crazy. It's just victory. But it was fun. While well, it lasted. Bottle Tornado. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. I almost skipped the lantern. Wait, wait, wait. I almost skipped that. Spaghetti Monster. Now, I don't want to change his intention here because... Oh, we'll do it a couple times. No, don't want that. That's fine. Now, I don't know what that thing does. I think it gives a permanent curse. I have yet to find out because I always attack him before he does it. So, um, maybe we should just do it for science and see what is going on there. We got dual wield funeral pain. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Gives a parasite? Ah, it gives a parasite. Okay, so then ah, at least we know. Chat knows. See, I don't have to figure it out myself. For a second, I was like, man, I got corruption again? How lucky am I? And then I realized I got bottle turning for corruption. And I'm like, this is hilarious. And I love it. Wait, is this going to be a first run kill? Guys, first run kill or not? Let me know. Okay, never mind. It's not. I wish it was, but it ain't. I used to give infinite parasites to get a beast with darkstone pair up to get infinite. Wait, it used to give infinite parasites. Like, it, you can keep allowing it to happen. Interesting. By the way, my hand is so sick. Let me just do something so I'm, so I'm not just like attacking. I'm doing this for no reason. I'm, I'm actually just wasting time here. I'm actually going to attempt to kill him with one little pingers. There's little pingers here and there like ping, ping, you know, ping. Oh, I do damage if I get... Oh, because it's a nature. Okay, okay, that's, that's more than a ping. 
That's more than a ping. Sadistic nature is... Oh! Really? He just had to, like, ruin it? Okay. So what are the chances we're gonna get Red Skull activated? Clash... No, Clash wasn't gonna do anything because I, um... If you notice, everything did one damage. Maybe it would have. I don't know. I, I didn't necessarily see. In Clash here, though. Oh, stretch it out. It's such a hard run. <laughs> uppercut again I'm gonna skip I think dual wield is kind of sick though because dual wield for like funeral pain is absolutely nutty I know it can be a curse a lot of time but I can get rid of it because I have so many ways to get rid of curses and then we just got like we just got dual wield in the mix it's like here it's like ah it sucks but not really because we have sever soul twice which is not a bad thing because sever soul is pretty cool Now we can share exactions. So that's funny. I don't know if you guys saw the YouTube video. I think I put it on YouTube, right? I, I put it on YouTube. I had the highest run I've ever had. And it had Sharon's Ashes, Dead Branch, and all that stuff. It was 2,800 or almost like 2,900. I believe I called it top 10 Ironclad score. And if I was actually like realizing how high my score was, I could have gotten 3,000 score. But I got like 2,800. And it was including Sharon's Ashes and stuff. We're, we're not going to get the same score here because we don't have curses. That In that run, we had curses. Got Reptomancer again. I see that she's got it round two. Well, this time I have Bottle Tornado, so... I think we have a much better chance. That's just my uh, theory here. Cancer, Mancer, Repto Cancer. I don't like using Cancer as like a... It's like a, you know... In a way, I don't know. But then I'm also kind of like, I don't mean anything bad by it. So like, I'm, I'm on the fence of being politically correct and then not being politically correct. It's tough life. Bye. Reptomancer. Reaper. Eh, we'll skip. Alright. So what do we do here? We could upgrade our last... Uh, we could upgrade the corruption so we have more energy in turn one. Or we could upgrade the... What should we do? Upgrade impervious? We don't really have that many upgrades. Do we... Upgrade dual wheel. Get more powers. More bang for our buck. I think that's the best thing to upgrade, actually. Is if that does hit something crazy... Not bad. Whoa! Everything I wanted in this fight, all on turn one. The game just said, here you go, fam. Don't get the perfects. But. That's nice. They don't get perfect, though. Um, um. 
Come on, my god, the block is too much. It's too much block. It's too much. I actually could have killed him, but I uh, I left him up for for pity's sake, I guess. And actually, I messed that up. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Get out of here. Uh, disarm. Just give me body slam. That's all I want. Dark embrace. Oh, that, dark embrace is actually kind of bad. It, it, it turns into like a nutty situation. Oh, hello, Time Eater. You know, I was told in the chat that you would uh, ruin my day. Well, the only ruining that's happening today is me ruining you. I hope. Let's start it off with a friendly little body slam to say hello. Okay, uh... Game, can you give me, uh... Something better, please? Game. Okay, um... Hold on, time meter. I'll get back to my shit talk in a second. I'll get back to shit talking in one moment. As I was saying, say hello to uh, the true time. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I lost the momentum. That's just. Okay. No worries, no worries. One, two. That's a lot of energy. Wow. Let's get the let's get the block. All right. All I need in this life. Why did I do that? I didn't want inflame twice. Oh, I guess I get more second win. That's why. Genius. Big brain plays. I just need a body slam. Body slam waiting room, I guess. Yeah, hello. Oh, fuck. I forgot to bash first. Uh, no one saw that. Absolutely nobody saw that. Uh, big brain plays. By the way, Kappa. Okay. Let's see what we get. 23-27. Not bad. A nice respectable 23-27. Something you could talk about. Oh, look at the doggy in the back. Oh, he's nice and relaxed. He feels safe.